Hey, this is Applin, and in this module, I'm gonna show you how to step on the gas with AI. So in the previous module, we learned how to kick off automation so that every time we generate a new lead, it automatically sends an SMS or an email, follow-up, etc. And now I'm gonna show you how to have AI manage that conversation for you so that when someone responds, it doesn't necessarily have to be you or your client or a representative of the business trading their time to manage all of those conversations, we can have AI do that for us. Now there's actually a couple ways to leverage your conversational follow-up with AI. I'm gonna show you a simple approach just to sort of help you get the ball rolling, but I've also included a link beneath this video that's gonna show you uh, a lot more in terms of advanced options and some more details about the setup. But the main feature we're gonna be using is called Conversation AI. Now, in order to get the most out of this, we do need to make sure that the AI employee feature is enabled. So at the agency level, we're gonna to switch to agency view and quickly go down to settings, company, and then just make sure that AI employee is toggled on. Once that's done, then we will go over to the AI employee tab and make sure that for our sub account, the feature is enabled. Once both of those things are uh, true, then we can pop back into the sub account and we'll see the AI employee features of which conversation AI is just one. So I'll click settings and then I can see conversation AI. There is also a V2, which is probably what you'll wanna use here. And if we click create bot, now we have the AI employee conversational AI at our fingertips. First things first, you're gonna to wanna to give your bot a name and then you can choose whether you want it off or on autopilot. Autopilot just means it's on. It's gonna receive a message, it's gonna to respond to that message. Next, you'll pick the supported communication channels. There are a bunch and even more being added. In the US right now for direct response marketing or advertising, when you generate a lead, SMS is really the king of all channels in terms of results. So I'm going to pick SMS and I recommend you do the same. Then we have some advanced settings. You can control exactly how and when the bot responds. And then there's more information about the current pricing plan, whether you're paying per message or whether you have unlimited, etc. Once you have your initial bot settings, you can pop over to bot training. Well, save. <laughs> of course, we want to save. And then we can pop over to bot training. Here in bot training, we have a couple of really cool fields. The first is the web crawler. This is the simplest way to train a bot on all the information about a particular business that it needs. You can just straight up put a website URL inside of here and then click get data and it will go crawl that website, kind of pull all of the content from it, read all of the words on every single page associated with that website and then just store that in its knowledge base. Another common thing to do is to have a Word document, a Google Doc with some FAQs on it or some information about the business that you want the bot to have. And then you can put that Google Doc straight in here as the URL and have it scrape the Google Doc. So that also works as well. Furthermore, you can just put Q and A's straight in here. So you can just add a question with an answer if there's something that you want the bot to kind of say the same exact way every time, like a really crucial price point or a common uh, response to a very common question, you can just put those straight in. You can also change this stuff at any time and actually continue to add more FAQs and more information, multiple websites, et cetera, more ways for your bot to know more about the business. Uh, as you go, so don't feel like you have to get it right right now, but once you do have a bit of uh, training for your bot or some resource for your bot, you can start to chat with it live over here on the right hand side. There's the test your bot function. You can have a little fake live conversation with it. And one of the cool things about not just testing, but this will be uh, live in conversations as well. Once your bot is deployed, it, you can give a thumbs up or a thumbs down to the bot in real time. So you can go review conversations in the conversations tab and actually train your bot based on the real conversations it's having. Thumbs up means good job. Thumbs down will prompt you to uh, set up a different response to that specific message. And then the little star icon here will actually pull up the prompt. Speaking of which, we can talk about prompt now. Once your training is uh, set up or at least functional minimum viable, initial setup is complete, head over to bot goals, and this is where we have the real prompting that you might be familiar with if you've used ChatGPT or AI in the past. So I'm not gonna go super deep on how to write a super robust uh, prompt right now in this video. We've got some great resources and there are plenty of resources in the community for how to get the most out of a well-trained AI chatbot. 
uh, click on these links and or visit the community for more resources on that. But we have it set up like personality describing who the bot is, intent, the goal for the bot, and then additional information or things that it needs to know in order to be able to conduct conversations. You can add custom values into these fields and most importantly, you can also set up appointment booking. Now appointment booking is really sick. You just click on it and then select the calendar that you want to correspond. This is the calendar the bot will actually read that availability and it will book appointments for you dynamically in conversation. Of course, you don't have to do it this way. You can opt to have the bot just send the appointment booking link and then have the lead schedule themselves in. But I think it's pretty cool to uh, book somebody conversationally, and we've seen that convert a lot better in terms of uh, testing the difference between what happens when we just send a booking link versus when we actually have a conversation with our lead in terms of sales momentum, buyer psychology. Uh, oftentimes, it's just it makes for a way better experience to have connected with someone and uh, had that time get confirmed conversationally and, and get into the flow without having to do the whole booking widget thing. So that said, booking an appointment is pretty common post lead gen. Once you've generated a lead, you kind of want to turn that into a sales opportunity. So for any kind of appointment driven sales system, booking an appointment is the next logical step. If you do have the appointment booking set up, what you'll see here is this is now blue. It means the uh, the appointment booking is turned on. If we want it turned off, we just click it and then click remove and that uh, will be just fine. Then it will revert. But if we want it turned on, all we have to do is set up a calendar and then we can um, and then we can customize different elements of appointment booking with these checkboxes. Hit save once we're ready. Once you do have appointment booking turned on, it's really safe to include that in the intent and the personality. So just because appointment booking is turned on doesn't necessarily mean that the bot also has everything that it needs from a personality and a conversational approach standpoint. It just means that now it has the ability to read that calendar and has the ability to put new appointments onto that calendar using the contact information from the conversations that it's having. So turning appointment booking on is like turning the technical capacity on, but then it's a really good idea to go back and train your bot on the way you want it to book appointments. Make sure that it knows its intent is to book an appointment or at least that it has the option to if that's requested or you can kind of define exactly when, where, why, and how you want the bot to book the appointment in a conversational manner and its approach to conversations. Does it want to get an appointment at all costs and it will uh, you know, focus on appointment setting to the detriment of answering other questions? Or is appointment setting kind of an alternative to its main goal? Or is it an option that it has, but it's not the priority, et cetera, et cetera. All of that stuff is really defined in the prompt. But that's pretty much it. Once you have these three areas dialed in, bot settings, bot training, bot goals, even just an initial setup, you can always change it. You'll probably have a couple opportunities to improve your bot prompting and training, and it'll be a good idea for you to pay attention to stuff so that you can continue to uh, optimize your bot but just as long as you have an initial setup for these three areas you can click save and now it will say bot successfully updated and click back to all bots you'll see your bot here I obviously did not turn mine on so I will go to edit select autopilot hit save and now once the bot is updated, now we'll see it is live and we're rocking and rolling. Now every SMS that comes in will be handled by my bot according to the way that I've trained it. So this syncs really well with a paid ad strategy because once you generate a lead, you can have a workflow automate the pipeline organization, the business notifications and whatever else, as well as the initial welcome message that has the name of the business, the name of the business rep with whom they're speaking, and a conversational question about maybe driving them toward booking an appointment or just asking them a sales related question to kind of get their journey kicked off, try to promote a response or solicit a response. And now with conversation AI, when we get those responses, we can have the bot then take over. So the lead experience is that they see an ad, they click on an ad, they fill out the form, they get a text message relatively quickly within the first five minutes of them having signed up. Uh, that asks them a conversational question and gets them into conversation. 
and they have a real live conversation with the business that's meaningful and connective and helps them move down the sales process. Now that you understand how to use conversation AI to bolster and scale your conversational strategy, you can go ahead and move on to the next module. Recoveries.